in this video, I want to explain to you what a teaching methodology is. So uh, our teaching is very, very informal, unlike a typical university setting. Uh, the, mostly we typically explain we typically explain a concept as if we're explaining a friend. So we use uh, we use these black screens uh, to write equations and uh, if some of you have seen Khan Academy videos, this will be somewhat similar to that, not exactly the same way, but it will be similar. And it's it's very it's like as if it's it's as if a friend is writing on a blackboard and explaining a concept. So it, it's going to be very very informal. I'm going to I'm going to be just just, just like this video, right? Uh, it's not going to be very well uh, very well orchestrated, right? It's going to be very informal, as if I'm explaining a friend or a colleague. And we have something called a seven step methodology, which we've written as a, as a simple process so that we cover all the topics, all, all the aspects of a concept. First, we explain why to learn a concept. Why is this concept important? Next, we explain what problems can be solved if you understand this concept, right? Because that's important. A lot of times we learn a concept, but we don't know why. For example, you might have learned about a Gaussian distribution, right? In your undergrad, first year or second year. But most of us don't know why the heck we learned it, right? Unfortunately, if you don't know why you're learning it and what problems can be solved, you tend to forget it and you tend not to learn how to apply it to real world problems. So we focus a lot on why to learn a concept and what problems can be solved. And coming to the concept itself, we give the intuition on what, what the concept is using simple algebra or geometry. So all the math is covered by making it extremely simple for you to understand. We use geometry a lot, we use lots of diagrams so that it's easy for you to understand what's happening. And we, we, we follow through very, very simplified explanation of dense, deep math without watering it down. That's something that is extremely important. Uh, when, when, when we built, when we started building this course, we want to explain you all the math required without watering it down, but yet at a simplified level. And for every concept, we take a simple toy example so that you understand what's happening. And then we go into solving a real world problem. That way you get a whole spectrum of idea of what's happening. And we use diagrams a lot in our course so that you get, you get an intuitive feel of what's happening because people remember visual stuff more than, uh, more than auditory or more than uh, other, other means of communication. We are visual creatures. So we try to explain a concept using diagrams. And thankfully, math, uh, most, of, uh, most of AI and machine learning has tons of, tons of geometric intuition. And hence, we can draw diagrams to show you what's happening. And for every concept, it's important for us to learn and know what the limitations are. Where would this concept or technique not work? Because to, to solve real world problems, in addition to knowing what the concept is, what problems can be solved, we also have to understand what it cannot solve. Only by knowing that you would not misapply it, right? And when you know the limitations of a given concept or a given idea or a given technique, we also teach you some simple workarounds, if there are any, right? For some techniques, you'll have to learn a new concept altogether to find a workaround. So we also teach you some simple workarounds, which, which most of us have learned actually by doing these things in the real world. And for every concept, we give a simple code snippet uh, if it is relevant so that you don't have to again search the internet for code. And a lot of times we use publicly available sources on internet. We use Wikipedia extensively in this course. So in addition to this black screen, you see, you see IPython notebooks and Wikipedia pages. So IPython is something, uh, is basically a interactive Python interface where you can write code and execute it there and then. It's extensively used in the industry, especially for data science and machine learning roles. So most of our code is on IPython notebooks and we share these IPython notebooks with you so that you can quickly understand and be able to replicate all of the work uh, on your own laptops and desktops. So as far as sources is concerned, we use Wikipedia extensively because it's one of the best publicly available sources. We also use other web sources as and when necessary, but we cite and refer what sources we're using. Because sometimes some, a brilliant concept is explained on a, on a blog. We don't want to not show you that. Because this is, a, of course, whenever we show a blog or an external website, we, we cite that. We explicitly tell you that, okay, this is the website that we are on and this is what it is. Because we believe that no single person can give you the best explanations of every concept. I think it's unfair or it's actually untrue if I claim that I can simplify everything. No. I have learned a lot of these through brilliant web sources and we will use those web sources as part of this course, but we will refer and cite those web sources so that the original creators of those web sources get credited for it. That, that's our teaching methodology.